Let's move on to our second main topic today. Chris, what is our second main topic today? This one's from Geeky Gator. Hey, John and crew. So it seems Netflix is playing around with the idea of having the option to change a movie or show's playback speed. Personally, I think this ruins the vision intended for the film by messing with the pacing of a scene. I hope they don't add this feature. What do you think of this? Well, what do you think of this feature and would you use it? Okay, so for those of you who, who haven't seen about this, if any of you guys listen to podcasts, most podcast players, hell, even Audible, if you're listening to mm -hmm. an audiobook, they'll give you an option to listen at point time, point five times faster, or you know, or one point five times speed, or two times speed, or whatever to speed, so you can get through the book faster or get through the podcast faster, but not so fast that you can't understand what's being said. So, the, I can't believe how big of an issue this has become, because I first heard about this and thought, okay, it's interesting, but then I heard a lot of people get very upset about this. And a lot of filmmakers, so Netflix is looking at introducing that as a possibility because, hey, a lot of people binge watch entire shows. Wouldn't it be neat if you can get through them a little faster if that's what you wanted to do? So there are a number of people, including filmmakers coming up and who are very upset by this and, and saying this is criminal. My response to that is what the hell business is it of yours? What? somebody else wants to do with their viewing experience. How is it any of your business? If I look, me personally, will I put a movie on two times speed? No, I like my movies the way to, nine times out of 10, I don't even do that with my audio podcasts or my audio books either. Unless I'm like on a drive to Vegas, and I'm getting through an audio book and I'm like, ooh, I can get through the whole book in this five and a half hour drive. If I put it to 1.5 speed, then maybe. But most of the time I don't do it, but giving somebody the option to watch something on their own, which is not making you watch it at that speed, which is not making your mother watch it at that speed. It's their choice how they want to watch it. And if they want to watch it at that speed, they, I rem this reminds me a lot about the whole hubbub that started going around, like back when it was started to become practical that you could watch a movie on your tablet or you could watch a movie on your phone. And I remember a lot of people at that, no, you shouldn't be able to do that. That's not how it was intended to be watched. And I get it, that's true, but why do you care what somebody else chooses to do with their viewing habit? If they wanna watch it that way, let them watch it that way. So is it something I myself am gonna take advantage of? No, no, it, that's not for me. I, I like watching it the way it's, I watch it. I believe it would impact and affect my personal viewing experience. So I choose not to watch it that way. But I don't see why anybody else feels the right to get involved in saying, you, you over there, in the privacy of your own home and your viewing experience, I don't want you to be allowed to watch it like that. I don't get that. I, 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 I don't get it. Why impose our will and what I want to watch on somebody else and how they want to watch it? Why do we feel the need to insert ourselves into the viewing habits of a person making their own choices for their viewing habits in their own home on their own time that has nothing to do with me. Why would I want to insert myself and say what they should or shouldn't be allowed to do? That's my feeling on it. Again, I'm with the, the, the question asker. I ain't gonna take advantage of this. I'm not gonna watch it like that. That's not how I wanna watch my movies. But if you do, more power to you. I think you're a sick son of a bitch if you put ketchup on your eggs, but hey, that's up to you. You want to put ketchup on your eggs? God bless. Doesn't mean I have to. Anyway, that's just my thought on the whole thing. Giving somebody an option to do something does not make somebody do something. So that's how I feel about it. Aaron, I'm, I'm curious. As somebody who appears <clears throat> in television shows and movies and, and things like that, I want to get your perspective on this. What do you think? John, <laughs> I love you, but you could not be more wrong. Here's the deal, when an author writes a book, when a novelist writes a book, they're not saying you have to read this book at this pace. They understand that the human mind works differently for different people. Someone, someone might be a slow reader, someone might be a fast reader. So likewise, when you're listening to it on Audible, it's the content of the book that really is the, the way that is what people are absorbing so whether they absorb it fast or slow it doesn't change that however in the in a film or a television show the pacing of it is exactly the content 
The pacing of a conversation is the content. If you are watching a scene and there are slow shots where you're panning across someone's face, they're do the filmmaker's doing that for a specific purpose to achieve a specific effect. And that is, in essence, part of the storytelling. So if you're watching it at two times the speed, you are actually not watching it as it was intended and you're not watching the full story. And here's why it does matter, because I'm the one that if someone doesn't understand the nuance of my performance because they're watching it at double speed and so it looks like I'm rushing through everything, then all of a sudden, Aaron Cummings is a shitty actor. Aaron Cummings doesn't have any emotion. Aaron Cummings runs the gamut of emotions from A to B, like all those sorts of things. Because I will tell you, especially in television, one of the challenging things about television is that you have to have a 60 page script in 46 minutes because you have to have time for commercials. And so I've seen scenes I have seen, well, I've watched scenes that I've done where I know that I've intentionally put a pause, a pregnant pause, a nuance, a moment to absorb whatever happened. And in the moment, it was really good and everybody loved it. And then when you watch it, the editors have clipped every single breath out of it. And it's just line, 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 even as if it's an Aaron Sorkin show when it's not written as an Aaron Sorkin show. So it doesn't make sense. And it just looks rushed and muddled and the performance is lost. So for me as an actor, as a performer, yeah, I don't want, 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 want someone rushing through the performance, not because I'm so precious about my performance, but because you're missing the full effect of it. And as a filmmaker, especially if someone's just gonna be fast forwarding through those shots that really establish the mood and the tone, that's part of it. You know, I, I, I think it's wrong. I don't think that you should do that. It's, it's no different than when you go to a, a restaurant and they say, no substitutions. The chef has prepared the dish the way that the dish will be served. And if you don't want this dish served with, you know, asparagus, well, then I'm sorry. You should go to Burger King and have it your way there. But that's not how we're going to do it here. So I'm totally against this. I'm not interested. I'm not a fan. I will write. I will boycott. Nope, nope, nope. I do feel like I have a right to say, no, you're not allowed to watch that that way because the comments that the people make do affect people's careers and livelihoods. And if someone is is deciding that they hate this director because they've chosen to watch that director's projects in a way that it was not intended by the director, then all of a sudden that could have a, a, that that could have disastrous effects on that person's career and livelihood. So no, nope, not interested. Nope, I'm 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 against it. Let me tell you why your your food analogy doesn't work. Because your food analogy is saying, you know, on the menu it'll say no substitutions. I get that. That to me is like an unto saying, you know what? In this uh, Wonder Woman movie, I want Superman to appear in it. That's not how we're serving it up. We made this movie without Superman. When they bring you your food, no substitutions, the chef is not allowed to tell you on this dish that we just put in front of you, you have to eat the broccoli first and then you can start eating the prime rib. No, Actually, I'm if you eat go to certain, want. if you go to certain sushi restaurants, they will tell you eat certain from left sushi to right. Restaurants. And here's the other thing: when people at home right now have the option, if I want to, I'm watching a movie on Netflix. If I thought, if I feel like this seems a little boring, I can fast forward through it. I, I can fast forward through it right now. I can just boom, 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 boom. There, I, I get to do that because it's me, and I get to choose. Are we now saying we should take away fast forward and rewind options? from people watching these things too. Again, I hear the arguments you're making, Aaron, and I agree with them to the extent of, I think you're making a really good argument for why we shouldn't want to watch it like that. I'm not hearing a good argument considering we live in a world where people can pause fast because director didn't intend us to be able to pause a movie and walk out and go to the bathroom and come back and unpause or fast forward through scenes, whatever. I but can we see have to that, that point. We do have that choice. I agree with every point you're making about why I don't think it's a good thing to do for myself, but I'm still not hearing a, I believe a valid argument for saying why we should take away that option from somebody if they want to watch it that way. I, I, we, we disagree on this. Chris, I want to bring you into this mm -hmm. because you're <coughs> involved in the performance arts and stuff like this. Where do she's you come Chris in on Carr. this? She's an, <laughs> she's an actor. <laughs> At, 
Much like Aaron, I don't I like want saying people. the performance arts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people fast forwarding my stuff, but that's because I already speak so fast and so high, only dogs would be able to hear me. It'd be very upsetting. Um, but for for my job, though, for you know my commentator stuff and for pulling all my own media assets, I already utilize this. Um, when I've scrubbed footage, I fast forward through stuff all the time. I speed it up because I usually have to consume media five or six times before I post a story for you guys. And and so for that end, I like fast forwarding. I do think I side more with John on this one. Of, what? I guess it doesn't matter. What do is, what you want. Is there a I weird know. orbit today Cats or something? Cats and dogs <laughs> living together. Mass hysteria. It's a crazy day. You just won it's me Halloween. over with those muscles, Mr. Campia. I don't want to argue with you. Uh, I really think it's just, you know, it's dealer's choice. And if I sat down with somebody and first go of a show, they wanted to watch it at double time. Yeah, I'm not going to sit through that. But if that's how somebody else wants to consume their media, live and let live. You know what, yeah. to Aaron's point, though, mm -hmm. I I can relate a little bit because the John Campia show and all the shows I've done like this before, I mm -hmm. really do feel that your physicality is a part of your communication. I'm Italian. I'm a very much, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm very, when I speak, I... I try to communicate my meaning or whatever with hand gestures, with my shoulders, with my face, the whole bit. And so I actually not, I'm not thrilled with idea of people just listening to my show in a podcast form. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't make my shows available in podcast form except to our Patreon supporters. Um, because they so, get you. Be, be, yeah, they, they get me already and they, they're already regular viewers and if they wanna have that extra access, mm -hmm. so be it. But so I don't make, but, I don't begrudge, there's a lot of services out there where you can just go, there are many websites you can go, oh, I wanna download this YouTube video in an MP3 format. Mm -hmm. And they download it and they'll listen to it on their walks or they'll listen to it in the gym or they'll listen to it in their drives on the way to work. And while I, that's not the way I'd like them to consume it and I won't personally make it available for them to do it, but I don't begrudge them if that's how they wanna go about consuming the media I produce. So I, I I mean, I think that speaks to your point, Aaron. I, I agree yeah. with you. I, I don't like it that people who watch my video or listen to my content in a certain way, but I don't begrudge them if that's how they choose to do it. I, I don't know, it's a, it's a weird thing. And I just love the fact that me, who I'm not in the performance arts, I am taking kind of one point, and then you have such a different point of view as being somebody who is in the performance arts. I think that's really interesting. And I think this is gonna be a very, what I thought was a nothing issue, it actually turns out to be quite an issue for mm -hmm. a number of people. So guys, I wanna know, what do you think about this? Do you think this is something that, hey listen, it's no problem. If Netflix just wants to keep, give people the option, what's the problem? Are you thinking, listen, you are just enabling people to watch a movie in a way that was never intended by the storytellers in the first place, that could be a bad thing. Is that how you feel about it? I wanna know what your thoughts are, guys. Jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.